Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Reminis and today's video is about how to prepare your songs. The last video that I did, I showed you how to prepare your file system or your DJ crates and how I organize my music. So I'm going to actually show you how I cut up the music. So this is a song I'm going to cut up today um, and prepare is basically an A Slam song, uh, Don't Waste Time. Now I've already gone ahead and done some points to warp the song. And I already did the uh, mixed in key. Again, these are all in previous videos. Just take a look at the playlist and you can go through them all. So it came back as 11A and 112 BPM. Um, I've already changed the BPM. So it sounds, you know, pretty good in Ableton. So let's actually cut this song up now. And I'll show you what I do with it. So I use basically five banks. So one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to fill up these five. Most of the time I fill them up because... When I DJ, I use a APC40 controller. And when I turn that controller on, it basically sets a red sort of bar. Um, and, and it takes about five uh, five of these clips. So when I scroll down, it goes clip per clip. I'll, I'll, you'll understand what I mean when I actually plug in the APC40. And I'll explain all that stuff, okay? But just keep in mind that I'm going to do five clips. So I'm going to go in here and copy this basically hold down control and just drag it down so the first one is the the song where I want it to start right so I've already kinda got it where I want it to start um, I don't play any of the beginning stuff so this is where it's gonna start okay. now the other thing I'm gonna do is now cut up some samples and some spots that I can mess around with in the song so the first thing I usually do is um, I have a color cord in anything that I do. Usually the first tr the first one is whatever color I want. Um, I like something bright, so I'll probably pick this color here. This one, command, control R, command R. I'm going to call this one loop. Okay. And now I'm going to go for a loop in this song, which I hopefully can find. We got the next level, and I can just loop the first bit. doesn't really matter. So... I mean, this is just an example, right? So what I'm going to do here is find basically a five bar loop, four bar loop, hit loop. Let's see how this sounds. So I name that loop. And if you got multiple loops, you can call it whatever you want. I'll go loop one, loop two. Or what I'll do is, um, I'll just say like I'll do hook, verse, or whatever. But this is just a general loop so I'm gonna call that loop which is fine and I usually have all my samples or triggers as a yellow right so next thing I like to do is if I have an acapella somewhere in here this one doesn't have an acapella but what I'm gonna do is actually do the hook so let's find the hook All right, so now let's find a loop here. I think it starts right here. Um, that should be enough. Four bars or whatever that is. So let's listen to this one. Perfect. So that, I'll call it um, hook. So now I've got a loop, I've got a hook. I mean, there's some other things you may or may want, you know, you may want to put in as samples. It's totally up to you. I, like I said, I'd like to fill mine up. So I'm going to drag this one down, copy that. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, let's see if something's in the beginning we can use. There you go. So we can sample that too. We can just call that one. Oh, I don't know. Loop one. Move that down. And then what I usually like to do is um, I like to take the first verse. So let's see where the verse starts. Right there on bar nine. So now what I'll do is I'm actually going to take this down. Um, start it at bar nine. Uncheck the loop. Color it green for go. Green means go. And rename this as first verse. Okay. 
Okay, so now I've got my sample. So here's what we got. We got a loop. So now I've got these samples, so now I can basically do whatever I want with them. So, you know, for example, if there's another song playing, let actually let me find something here. Uh, so here's a loop that I got in the same key, okay? So I'll give you an example. So this is playing right now. This is kind of giving you an idea of how I DJ as well. So I've got my stuff cut up. I've noticed this is only just a loop, and I haven't done this one properly, but I'm going through all my music, but let's just play this. Okay. Now, say you want to blend in the next song. Now, you got an option here, right? Now, you can start from the beginning. Right? Or say you want to start with... Keep, keep looping and then say you want to kick in and this is going to keep looping right but you can always you know this is kind of what I do so I'll start bringing this guy down clip of that song and you're done so now you've got all your clips saved now let's save this as a project okay I'm just gonna delete this so now what you the first thing you want to do is take these ones See if you save it just like this it's gonna save the whole wave file multiple times which is a waste of space so what I do is I'll take the clips that I've got edits on or shortened or looped together I'm gonna to, you know highlight them all right click and go uh, crop clips. So what that's going to do is going to crop them from one whole big wave to just that one piece and you'll see what I mean. See it's chopped it down, it's taken my loop and just made it really really small and it's still going to loop because the loop function is still on. Right? And it's going to start the first verse at the first verse. There's nothing in the beginning. That's why I've kept the original song on the top. Right? So now what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to I name it the same way so I'm just going to uh, Command R Control C. So what do you do is highlight the whole thing Go to the folder where you want to put it in. Now, because this is 11A, 112 BPM, and to me it's a Pongara song, I'm going to find the folder, 110 to 119, and I'm going to drop it in the root folder, not in the backspin because it's not an old school song. So I'm going to drag it here. So it's basically dragging, grabbing it, all highlighted, holding it down with your mouse, and dragging it in. And then it's just a matter of renaming and renaming, and you're done. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, you know, click on that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel that we stay up to date with latest and greatest information. I'm DJ Reminis, and I'll see you guys real soon.